Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Addition and Subtraction of Radicals. Let's get started. Okay, so for Addition and Subtraction of ra Radicals, uh, all we have to do is, is know simplification. If we know simplification, then it's actually going to be quite easy to add and subtract radicals. So let's do the first problem together. We'll just do uh, a few examples. Uh, the square root of 50, we had previously seen this in the last video, can be broken down into the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. Again, 25, the reason why we would do that, well, it's because the square root of 25 is something that we know. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 2 is square root of 2. That doesn't change. And so now we're left with this. Well, what can we do here? Well, there's 5 square root of 2s plus 3 more square root of 2s. Well, this is actually just like going back to grade 1 here. If you have 5 cows and someone else gives you 3 cows, how many cows do you have? Well, I suppose you'd have 8 cows. So the same thing goes for root 2s. If you have 5 of them and someone gives you 3 more, you got 8. Okay? So the real key here is that if you can simplify root 50 eventually to 5 root 2, well, it's just a matter of adding. Okay, I'd like you to try option or question B here, and we'll take that up momentarily. So I'm going to pause the video on my end, you pause it on your end, and I'll start writing in a moment. Okay, welcome back from the pausing. Uh, so let's see. The square root of 18 can be rewritten as negative 3 root 2, I believe. Uh, square root of 50, that can be rewritten as 5 root 2. The square root, 2 times the square root of 27 can be rewritten as 3 root 3. And 4 root 5, well, that's just 4 root 5. Okay. Uh, so how do we combine these ones? Well, you can only combine apples and apples and oranges and oranges. Here I've got negative 3 root 2 plus 5 root 2. If I combine those together, I get 2 root 2. What about the rest? Well, there's nothing else I can do. 3 root 3s, there's only 3 of them, and there's nothing else there that can be combined with them. And for root 5s, well, we've got 4 root 5s. And there's no way I can combine that with anything. And so there, we've got our final answer. For question C now, this time we have some variables involved. Let's do this one together. Uh, the square root of 20 can be rewritten as 2 times the square root of 5x. If you don't believe me, try that at home. Second one I'm going to need to think about. Let's see. So I'll leave the 3 where it is. Square root of 45. Oh, 45 is 9 times 5, and so that gives me square root of 9, which is 3, times square root of 5x. Okay, I'll just quickly rewrite that. So that's 2 times root 5x minus 9 times root 5x. And now you notice we're dealing with root 5x's in both cases. 2 minus 9 is negative 7 times root 5x. Okay, uh, and finally for the last one here, uh, you might want to pause it to try it, but I'm just going to get started. If you want to pause it, you can right now, but otherwise it's too late. The cube root of a to the power of 4 is a times the square root of a. The cube root of hmm, the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of a is just the cube root of a. Oh, sorry, I've made a mistake in the first one. These were cube roots, right? So I should have a little 3 in the index there. Okay, so now I have a cube root a plus 3 cube root a. I could leave it like that, or I could gather... I like terms by saying I have a plus 3 cube roots of a. Okay, in fact, this, what I've written at the bottom, is really factored form. Okay, um, that's actually it. Uh, 
So there's your homework there. And basically all you're going to do is simplify radicals and then combine those things that can be combined. And when you can't be combined, well, then you, you don't. Okay, good luck.